Ladies and gentlemen, live from Kona, Hawaii, it's Tyler Homo! Hey, hi, this is Tai Dai Hobo. Welcome to beautiful Hawaii, over here in the Kona side on the Big Island. If you ever come over here to Hawaii, check out Tai Dai Hobo, or just Google it. Today, I'm gonna show you a really special treat. <laughs> They're always special and it's always a treat, but today is this really cool one. I call it the universe. Already on my website on tiedaihobo.com, you can already find several other space kind of themes, you know? But this is the latest one, just uh, developed the other day on 1010, I believe it was. All right. But anyway, so the universe, and I paint the stars in there, so it's gonna be like a three part segment all into one. Because you're gonna have to like make the shirt first, and then you have to wash it, and then do the stars. So I'm gonna do all that in one, one video. <laughs> So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the notification button, all that fun stuff. And thanks for checking out the YouTube. Come on, let's go make this cool design. Thanks for joining me. Um, after you soak your shirt in soda ash, like I showed you in previous videos, so make sure you like check out the other videos so you can check it all out, you know? <laughs> and then uh, you spin it out in spin cycle in the washer and your shirt's ready to die. Okay, so the idea is um, we're gonna lay the shirt flat down, face up, and we're gonna draw like little stuff on there. But I, I just want to let you all know, I thank the good Lord every day for the talent that I've been given since I was at birth. And I get to share with everybody. So I think it's really important you guys all share. I know I keep on emphasizing on this one, but it really is. Thanks, you guys. So we're going to check it out now from the table side. Hang on a second. Okay. So after we got the shirt laid down, face up. Lay down flat on the table like this. So we got like just a big old piece of paper like, right? So you get ordinary household items, okay? Let's see, like you can get a, a, a cooking utensil or maybe a lid. I mean, that's kind of a little small. So if we can like check it out, I'll find some, a plate. So you get a plate, see, watch this about in half you can do it like that or check this out I'm just gonna even make it easier for you okay so right here I'm gonna put my fingertip right here okay I'm just gonna scoot this all over here like this and then scoot this one over here okay okay see now right there I'm gonna make the Sun right here okay that's gonna actually be a circle okay so we're gonna get some rubber bands, just like I showed you before. Again, and this one here, you wanna to try to find them when they're all in like that. If not, you can fold them in three. And you, so you get it like this. One, two, three. So then you have it like that, right? So well, it's three fingers, remember? Keep it flat on the surface. You go right past the tag, okay? And you have another one for backup. Okay, and you squish this together. We call it the squish, crunch, scrunch, munch. <laughs> but it's all good, man. We're all the tie dye people, man. Everybody's all working together and tie dye in the world. Okay, so now what we do, we're gonna get a little Martha Stewart ish, you know what I mean? Because I'm gonna get you to get household utensils, like, so like maybe a, a, a cup. Okay. 
So remember the sun's right here. It's almost going like in a zigzag pattern. So it's gonna go ding. Here's one planet here. Okay. You can do it any which way you want, but I'm just showing you the base cover, right? So what we need is like a highlighter pen or anything that's erasable kind of thing, you know, a marker. So you can make your little circle. Okay, there's one. And let's see, uh, maybe get like a vegetable can or something. I know it's kind of hard to do, right? Okay. <laughs> so, then we're going to go zigzag like with the planets. So there's the sun or whatever, and there's one planet here. We'll put one right here. Okay. It doesn't have to be that size, but we're going to just get the basic circle for this, okay? Okay, now we're going to get one more planet. I guess we can do this one over here. Maybe the bottom part of this. Okay, there we go. And we have three different kind of planets size. Okay. Okay, let's get this out of the way here. Let me show you the area of that. Okay, see, there's the sun I did in the top corner. And there's like the planets now. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this. Okay. Okay, so now watch. Aren't you glad I didn't make you guys get any tools and stuff, man? Because a lot of places, man, you make you get a lot of tools. But this is going to be, require a couple, some paint. You, know, you can get this at Walmart or whatever, or a craft store. It's just a uh, fabric paint. You're going to use glow in the dark or regular white or any other color you want so you can make the stars on there. So we'll be doing that shortly after we get done dyeing. Tie dyeing, that is. <laughs> Okay, so we have the half circle here, right? So what I usually do is just kind of pinch it there and then slide it over here where you can feel the half circle. So what you can do is, the easy way, you just put your finger in between there and then scoot this up like that and this like that. And you'll see how that works. Really, really cool. Okay, remember the rubber band thing? What I usually try to do is bounce them on the ground there and see pick up one that's already like that. See that? Remember the three fingers? Three fingers, remember to slide it down there? Right, right here on that little spot. And I think I made some ring around that, so I made a different color. So then again, I'm gonna do slow motion. So you got it wrapped around three times, right? That's where your three fingers comes in strong and handy. So put one little ring around there, okay? Now we have this one over here, ready to almost go, see? So we're gonna do this the same. Put your finger right here and watch how it works. You just put it like that and it goes just like that. So that's how you make circles without having to make any thing. You can make it whatever size you want. Just experiment, you know, it's all fun. Not supposed to be tripping out and having a hard time doing this. It's tie dye. It's, it's fun, you know. So remember, no mistakes. It's all new designs. Just remember how you did it. Okay. And everything's beautiful. Okay. So don't ever trip, man, because everything you make is beautiful. Okay. So this is really fun because, like, you know, like we all look at space and wonder and stuff, you know, and. It's really, really interesting to know that 90% of space is invisible. It's like, wow. Just like this air in front of us, you know? Um, it's really interesting. So it started to get me just gazing on the thought of how much activity is really invisible. Like God, he's invisible. But, um, so anyways. All kinds of things are invisible. Airwaves, microwaves, gamma rays, magnetism. I mean, all kinds of stuff. Endless stuff that we're not even aware of yet. Okay, so we have the three planets here. Right? See how easy I, I, it took me to make those planets? Imagine that. <laughs> okay, anyways. So what we're going to do just leave it like that. Oh, actually. Yeah. I just leave it like that. And I bring the whole thing over to the dyeing rack. So... Just like that, I'm bringing it over, and I'm just gonna stack it up there, okay? So hang on, we're gonna do this right now. Okay, so the colors we're gonna need is gonna be black, 
purple, turquoise, yellow, pink, red, and orange. You know, you caught me red-handed, huh? You're supposed to wear gloves, you know that, right? <laughs> all right, so I suggest you all wear gloves. And uh, it's very mandatory that you're for your health's sake, you know. So bear with me. All right. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna start off with the planets here, right? Okay. So we have the sun right here that I showed you up front. Okay. We're gonna paint that with paint. <laughs> dye that. We're gonna dye that with yellow first. Okay. And this all just. This is all for fun, you know, and so, like, you know, it's beautiful. So it's nice to share your art with people. Okay, and now we're going to give that little bit of fire in there, some red. All right, give it a little zigzag in there. Okay, now we're going to do this other one, I believe, is like uh, orangish kind of like color. So we're going to do this orangish. And then, um, I think I did it pinkish, right there, like that. And I think, I believe I did it blue on the rim there. And one on tip, right? Okay, so, so but you can do whatever you want, right? And uh, that's what's fun about tie-dye. It's all art, and it's nice to be able to just let it free flow. Okay, so I think, I believe the next one I did... A yellow planet like and then it did some blue on the rim and it turned it green like watch this how I come into it like, don't even trip out or worry man let it do its own thing right and I think I did one little dot one little dot bing <laughs> no stress no worries okay now I think the bottom one I did it kind of like a a reddish color like the Mars kind of thing. Not, not that these are any planets or anything, no. But, um, they're their own thing, you know? And here we go, like here. Okay, see how that one looks, right? So you can do anything you want, right? So that's what I did right there. You squirt any, like, colors in there and just get creative. But that's the sun there, so I wanted to make that, like, you know the star of the whatever galaxy or universe this happens to be, right? This can be your own. So now you get the purple or black, doesn't matter which one. And you're just gonna like squirt it all on this area here. Right? See that? It's kind of just, I'm just going in circles, keeping it all on the shirt. And then right when you come over here, just come right over to the edge like and then just cruise on by these edges, right? Don't get too heavy on them. But make sure you got right there, just how I did that. See that? See how I did this? Now I'm filling it up right here. I'm just squirting. I got these big bottles, so I do a lot of tie dyeing. But, you know, just have your squirt bottle ready and just squirt it on. See how it's like soaking in now? All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna carefully turn it over, okay? So let's see if I can pull this off. All right, so we're gonna pull this like this, and we're grabbing, pinching each little thingy, and bring the red one back over here. Immediately try, don't try to get any color on these other ones, but if you do, don't trip out. Just like immediately squirt the yellow on there, and it's like an eraser. See how that did that? And then you get your red immediately, and then dose it on there. See that? It's all good. No stress. It's okay. So here, here we go. Take it over here. I think I did some orange pink here. Just like hell. See that? I'm not even tripping out, man. I mean, <laughs> some people spend hours on shirts, man. It's crazy. I'm not even speeding up this film or anything, man. I'm actually slowing down my action. But I'm, you know, I'm trying to actually, so you can show you guys really simply and how it's stress-free. Okay? So here's this last one. I think I did some red there first. It's almost like Spider-Man's planet, huh? 
<laughs> it could be anybody's plant, man. All right, so here we go. A little tip there. A little red purple here. All right, so now it just creates its own colors. Okay, I think that's that. Okay, the fire. Okay, now I did purple on one side. Okay, like I showed you in the previous videos, I showed you how I mix colors. So you can check that out, man. I mean, how I make black out of four basic colors that I got. That's pretty cool, man. You know, I think uh, showing you guys is really special. Oh. Yeah, I think it is, man. Because I think it's a beautiful thing that you get to share this talent and special techniques and different kind of tactics or whatever, right? You know, okay, let's get on. Okay, so back to the black. Back to the black. Okay, so what I'm just going to do is float it all around. See, now, when I get close to that stuff here, watch, I'm just going to just get near it. And see, watch. Now, when I come over here. Okay, watch. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm just flooding it, really. Now, let's see all that other little stuff there. It gives it that character, like, uh, 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 the, the galaxies and stardust and stuff, man. When I, you know, just to leave it like that for, you know, it's very difficult. You can get away with shorter time, I'm telling you, man. But, you know, it's best to let it wait for 24 hours. And, you know, 24 hours. All right, anyways. Okay, so, uh, yeah, and then you get your agitation in the wash going, you know, and then you can uh, put mild soap in there and just, like, drop it in as in right there, okay? So what we're doing now, we're going to take it over to the uh, star section. So uh, what we do now, this would be a two-part section. You have to wait till it... it um, sets you know and then wash it later and then let it dry and then you're going to take it to this part right now that i'm going to take it to you where i'm going to do the stars and stuff so hang on a second okay okay so after you have your shirt already washed you know and you have your uh, planets and your sun up there right you're going to put stars on there right it's with the tulip paint right so what you're going to do is like put just Play dot to dot. It all goes back to kindergarten again. Just play dot to dot, okay? So just put some dots all over. You know, it's not... And you can put, like, star uh, constellations if you want. You know, get really detailed. But as you see, I'm just playing dot to dot, having fun. I, you know, you always have to have the Grateful Dead music playing on this, right? So you can have that, you know, feel of the tie-dye. You know, tie-dye is like American culture. It's like Levi's and Harley Davidson, you know, because people used to associate tie dyes with drugs and stuff. But there's so many of us making tie dyes now that babies and kids they're wearing them, man. They ain't doing drugs, so we want to make tie dye as common as chocolate cake, you know. So that way they go, hey, that person's wearing tie dye. They must eat chocolate cake. Okay. So I'm going to show you how I did the dot to dot thing here. And then I'm going to give you an aerial view. All right? Okay. So now watch. This is kind of neat because, like, how the white kind of comes in there and looks like a little stardust, you know? So let's see if I can pull this off without any bloopers. Okay. Okay, so far. Now I'm going to put, like, a meteorite, right? So here's what you do. Here you go. Throw a little ball. Right. Okay, see a little ball? Now I'm going to do a little tail, right? So this is like your paintbrush, too. And just lightly, lightly, lightly just let it like run on top of it. Don't drag it too hard, right? These are fun. You just make, however you make it, it's going to look really cool. So you really can't do anything wrong, you know? Then every now and then you want to throw in a little sparkle. Watch. You like this, you go. A little bing, 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 bing. <laughs> All right, so then you want to throw in a little galaxies every now and then. You go, wee. 
Look at there, man. I just made a whole galaxy. Check that out, man. It just grew right before us, okay? Okay, now let's see. Oh, yeah, we want to put a moon. So, moon, just again, just like the meteorite, just draw a little circle. It looks like a moon. It doesn't have to be round because I don't think any of the moons are round. It really doesn't really have to be any which way because it's your planet, your solar system. Okay. So I think I'm going to give this little guy down here a couple of moons. Okay, now let's give it some more little galaxies and stars, okay? See how it's looking so far? See, so now what we do is throw the little stars are in there. Nothing has to be perfect because perfection is boring, you know? And uh, everything you do is going to be beautiful. See that? Okay, now I come on over here. Make some more universes, right? They all don't have to be going that way, right? Oh, yeah, how about my little miniature meteorite over here? Yeah. Little miniature one way off the distance here. That looks pretty rad, huh? It's heading for that planet, oh boy. Okay, so that little star dust here, or star sparkle, whatever. Okay. Let's see, how about another little meteorite coming this way? All right, so now let's put some little galaxy right here. All right, it's pretty, looking pretty cool, huh? The moons, stars, and now let's put some more stars. So then when you turn it over and do the same thing, I'll show you the back results afterwards. But you want to let this dry, right? It looks really cool. Oh, and then you can get glitter if you want, okay? Get glitter if you want. When you get glitter, just sprinkle it here and there. A little bit. Of, see, I actually uh, put glitter on some guy's stuff and he didn't want it on there. But I, I thought he was aware that it had glitter. But apparently he hates glitter. Oh, man, there was glitter everywhere in his car and everything. There was nothing I could do, man. It was already too late, you know? So I, maybe he got adjusted to the glitter, or maybe every time he sees it, he thinks of me. <laughs> anyway, so then we do that, right? That looks really sick, huh? Okay, and then what I do is just bring it along there. Hang on, let's show you. So I get it like that. Yeah. Shake it off, right? So now I got some of that stars and stuff got glitter on there, so it looks groovy, you know? I think it does. It like shines in the daylight and everything, so check this out. Can you tell that? It's hard to tell with the camera. But yeah, you can see it. It looks cool. All right, you guys. Let's check, uh, see the final results and hang on a second, you guys. tried to speed this one along as best I could and making sure you guys can learn you know it's important that you guys learn and I make it simple for you okay um, check it out so here's what it looks like you know not all the same but this, I made a couple similar so I can do this video for you but here's what I did to the back I was playing around and made like Jupiter on one of those planets right and I used glow in the dark stuff too you can do that you can do all kinds of different possibilities so I'm just get opening the gate to you, you know, how you can collaborate your beautiful tie eyes with some art, you know. I think this looks groovy, man. Instead of having a screen print, you are the screen print. 
Don't get carried away with the price on people, you know. Be generous with your love. How generous I am with this. Be generous back, please, okay? <laughs> Thank you, guys. And I appreciate you guys looking at the videos. If you really want to get into it, make sure you hit the notification button, the subscribe button, all that fun stuff. And uh, you guys have a great day. And aloha.